Hello, hello everybody, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel. Um, as you can tell by my voice, I have been having issues. This is actually the best I've been able to talk for the last week. I ended up coming down with laryngitis, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. It always seems like I have the worst luck when it comes to bring back my bar time. Last time I got sick in January, um, and this time, at least it is just laryngitis, so I can still smell. Um, so I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. So bring back my bar if you don't know what that is, is Sensi's um, event that they do twice a year that allows us to buy for a certain month, just a one month time, retired bars that had been voted back. So this starts for everybody in June, but as a consultant, they had a wax bar, bring back my bar kit that I was able to purchase a month ahead of time. So I could sniff them for you and I can make samples for customers and all that. So I'm here for it as one of my, besides Sensi Club, which is amazing. And actually you can, if you fall in love with these bars, create or add them to a sense, your Sensi Club and you can have them forever because after June 30th, the bars will retire again. So FYI, get a Sensi Club if you don't have one. <laughs> so, okay, so I don't have these in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab them, read the notes to you and sniff them for you. So the first one I have, <clears throat> and I do apologize for my voice. Seriously, I have the bet, the worst luck when it comes to these bring back my bars. Um, but at least my sniffer's working. So Summer Rain is the first one. And this is dew sprinkled cyclamen, fresh botanicals, and a pinch of black lava lava salt conjure the earthy sweet scent of a passing summer storm. So it's this pretty blue, like a denim blue almost. And I have to say, I love the label. It's so cute with the little umbrellas. Okay, yes, this is a very aquatic ozone type fragrance. It reminds me a little bit of Atlantic air. Um, it does have like a floral component to it. Uh, very aquatic. It smells, it does, it smells like rain. It's along the same lines too as Thunderstorm, but Thunderstorm is like, it has a stronger punch of floral, whereas this one doesn't. This one is mildal, my, milder. Um, so think like a gentle summer storm rather than a booming storm like Thunderstorm is. Okay, so that's Thunder, th not Thunderstorm, so <clears throat> summer rain. Okay, next one is Coconut White. Orchid. It's this beautiful lavender. And I have to say there are a lot of like lavender type scents, not smells, but scents. Um, not smells or scents. That's the same thing. The color of the wax bars. Sorry, guys. My mind is just, woo, I'm a little bleh right now. Um, okay. So this one is, let me find it. This one is, I know I have it, Coconut Vanilla. There it is, Coconut vanilla, vanilla Orchid is Alluring Orange Zest Coconut Milk and Silky Vanilla Orchid. I do get that orange. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's almost like a candied orange zest to me. Um, And it's a little creamy. And I do get that or orchid. Now, orchid to me is similar um, to like violet, but not as strong. So violet kind of has like a peppery, like sharp quality to it that I normally am not a fan of um, for home fragrance. But orchid's a little milder, but it's that same type of um, essence to me. This is really nice. It smells like it's kind of light so we'll see so coconut vanilla orchid okay the next one i have is lemon coconut chiffon beautiful yellow and this is 
melt in your mouth lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. Oh yeah, I do get a, co a it's not like necessarily coconutty, but there's like a toasty quality to this. Yeah, definitely like a toastiness and like a dense pound cake mixed with lemon. That's really nice. This is really nice. But you definitely get a toastiness to, to the scent. So that's lemon coconut chiffon. The next one is caramel vanilla delight. It's a tan color. Um, this one is vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. Okay, yeah, it smells, it smells like, oh yeah. Very sweet caramel mixed with that vanilla ice cream note. Um, I'm not like, I don't get a boozy quality at all. It's kind of like, <clears throat> like um, vanilla, why am I blanking? The vanilla, vanilla bourbon, vanilla bourbon from the Father's Day collection that is available. My link is in the description for you. Um, where it, it doesn't really smell like alcohol, but it kind of gives like an extra warmth to the scent. That's kind of what I'm getting with this. So that is Caramel Vanilla Delight. If you love caramel and vanilla scents, this is really nice. And the caramel is not like overpowering. I know some caramel scents can be like, that's all you smell is caramel. I don't think that's the case with that one. Okay, next one is blueberry pancakes. And this one is blueberry and butter accord layered with light maple. And it's this dark purple. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so, so it's like rather than the blueberry mixed into the batter, it's more of like a blueberries put on top of the pancakes. It's like a fresh blueberry too. It's not like a an uh, artificial like blueberry candy. It's almost like the blueberries have um, been put on top of the pancake, and they've gotten to that point where they're they're really warm to where when you go to take a bite, they kind of burst. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And then the maple like caramel that can be very overwhelming in a sense not on cold anyway. I'm not getting a ton of maple to where it's overwhelming anything. This is really nice. I really like this one. Yes, very, very nice. And there is kind of a better quality to it. So that is blueberry pancakes. Okay, next one is pineapple coconut vanilla. This one is coconut pineapple blush and blue fig. Now I haven't ever melted this in the wax, but I have and do have it in body care items. So I have smelled the scent before and I can say at least in body care, it's not a favorite. Yeah, it smells the same. It smells the same as the body care. The fig in it is the strongest note in my opinion. And I'm not a super fig fan. But it is mixed um, with those other notes. Pineapple's not a super strong note in it. I would probably say fig and then coconut and then pineapple. Um, but it is a body care. It, it comes across as body care to me. And I don't know if that's because the first time I've smelled it is in the body line or not. Or it's just the vibe you get from it. Definitely not a favorite scent of mine. Of course, I will melt it um, to see, you know. It'll probably be a good bedroom type scent. Not something I'd want, you know, around my whole house. Okay, next one is Blonde Wood and Moonflower. And this one is Pure, no, Pale Warm Wood and Amber Envelop Demure moonflower, delicate white roses, and upturned lilies. So this is gonna be a floral one. And it is another tan. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty. This is a pretty scent. 
So it's a perfumey scent. And the muskiness and the florals mix well to, together. To me, it's kind of a, like um, some perfumes are lighter and brighter. This is more of a heavier perfumey <clears throat> notes, um, like a perfume you would wear in the fall and winter rather than during the spring and summer. So it's pretty. It is a very, actually pretty scent. So that is Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Okay, the next one. I'm actually really excited about this one. This is Root Beer Float. And this is concoction of old fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. This just, to me, seems like very like unique, fun fragrance. Yep, that's what it smells like. It smells like a Ruber float. This I think would be perfect in the summer if you just wanna change something up um, from the normal like fruity scents, fruity or, you know, summer florals. It does, I think the Ruber note is the strongest, um, but I am getting vanilla. I think if you want to amp up the vanilla, Mixing this with vanilla waves would be a really nice combination. But it's, it's, it's fun. It's a fun scent. So that's Root Beer Float. Okay, next up is French Toast. I'm excited about this one. This one is a light slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter, dusted with powdered sugar, and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. So another tan one. Oh my gosh, this is really good. It does smell like French toast. Like French toast that you did just like dunk in the batter and then put on the griddle to cook. So it's not like finished French toast. To me, <clears throat> excuse me, to me I do get like a, like a slight cinnamon, like there's cinnamon put into the batter too. This is really yummy. And it is different than um, like blueberry pancakes where you can tell it's like a French toast. This it's really nice. That is really nice. And the label is so cute. I don't know if you can tell the little French toasts have berets and, and mustaches on them. That's <laughs> so adorable. Okay, the next one is Very Perry Pumpkin. I know this one hasn't been around in a long, long time. So this is my first time ever smelling this one too. This one is sweet nashi pear, freshly picked pumpkin, tart green apple and toasted spices are carried on a breeze of crisp autumn air. <clears throat> now I've heard this is a polarizing fragrance. So I have, I have seen some other reviews about it. So we'll see. Oh yes, okay. This is like an absolute, oh yes, okay. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but on cold with pumpkin marshmallow, I was the same way. I was like, well, this smells straight up canned pumpkin, <laughs> canned sweetened pumpkin, but I ended up loving it when I melted it. That's kind of the same vibe I'm getting from this, but not as, not the same. There's no like gooey marshmallow but it's like you just picked a pumpkin from the pumpkin patch and cut it open. And then there's an added little bit of sweetness from the pear. I think it could be good. Like I said, I did end up really, really liking pumpkin marshmallow. It was in my club at one point in time. But it's not as sweet. It's, it's sweet in a different way, fruity sweet. I know some people mentioned it reminded them of baby food. And I do, I guess I can see where they're coming from. Just because it's such an authentic pumpkin mixed with fruit. So we'll see. We'll see. It is definitely a different scent. But I'm happy for those that were waiting for this to come back that they are able to get it and put it in their club now. I know Lisa Roberry especially. She, this is like one of her all time favorite scents. And so I know she's super, super happy about it. So I'm happy for her. And again, I may end up really liking it. We'll see. So that is Very Perry Pumpkin. 
Okay, next one. This I have tried this one, and it is Cotton Candy Cookie. This is, let's see, little hands clutching cotton candy and cookies while gooey treats topped with sugared raspberries beg to be tasted. So I have smelled this one before and melted it, and it is really good. It is like the perfect balance between cotton candy and sugar cookie. That is what it is to me. And it's like a flavored cotton candy um, with that raspberry. It is like a sh flavor, you know, because some cotton candy is more just than sponge sugar. They put like flavoring in it too. So that's what you get. It's so nice. It's not a super strong one for me, but I may, I may, uh, I'll probably get maybe a bar or two more. I don't think I'll put it in my club because I do enjoy it, but not to the point where I need it in my club. So that's Cotton Candy Cookie. If you love gourmand scents, sugar candy type fragrances, it's a really, really nice one. Okay, the next one is My Only Sunshine. And this one is Golden Tuberose and Jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. Oh yeah, this is another one of those perfumey florals. It's pretty, it's pretty. It's like white florals, kind of bright, summery, perfume type fragrance. So, um, it smells almost citrusy to me. Did I say it had citrus? I don't even remember now. No, it doesn't say any sort of citrus. But to, I don't know if maybe just because it's yellow, I'm I'm getting citrus. I'm not sure. But it, it's very nice. A very pretty, like, summery perfume. Okay, next up is Enchanted Mist. It's a creamy back and a blue front. Enchanted Mist is romantic blend of juicy apples enhanced and sweetened by rose petals and rich jasmine. Oh, this is pretty. That The apple is the strongest to me. And it's like a green or like a golden delicious apple. I'm not really getting much in the way of rose, but I guess I get, I do get like a jasmine type note. This is really pretty, I like this. Oh, hopefully it's a strong one because that's really nice. Enchanted Mist. Okay, next one is Buckleberry, which I've heard a lot of people were excited about this one. So Buckleberry is a bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. So a buckle is a type of pastry that is mixed, um, it's like, cake that's been had um, fruit mixed in and then baked and then it has a streusel topping so a coffee cake with like fruit that's been baked into it okay this is a in the full notes uh, this isn't the full notes that I just read to you but the full note says summer berries it's more of like late fall or late summer into fall berries to me. It's a deeper berry. And then, yeah, I guess I kind of get like a cinnamon sugar, not a ton of like pastry note, like cake. I'm not, I guess a little bit like vanilla and cinnamon sugar. And then with those deep, uh, more fall type berries. It's nice. It's very nice. We'll, we'll see how it does when it warms. Okay, next one is Forever Yours. This one is Sweet, Creamy Lemon, and Enchanting Jasmine, A Rhapsody of Devotion. Another pretty lavender. Okay, I'm getting more jasmine. Okay, on the bottom, I get a bit of that lemon. The jasmine is stronger though, to me. The lemon just kind of brightens up the jasmine. So we'll see how that is, forever yours. Next up is Inner Peace. 
So from far away, the label looked like little pea pods, but it's just a little design, like an intricate design. But they look like pea pods from like pictures and stuff. And I was like, oh, how cute little pea pods. But no, they're not pea pods. So, but we got a blue and then white back. And this one is earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. Okay, this is a citrusy spa scent. It almost smells more like lemongrass rather than just lemon. It's a green citrusy like tranquil spa scent. This is actually really nice. I think this is a really good one. I think it'd be good to like cleanse your house, like open up all the windows um, and melt this one and just let the summer breeze come in. Just kind of rejuvenate and cleanse the air in your house. So that's inner peace. Next up is love and happiness. This was the one I was most excited about. This one is glazed chestnut, vanilla, and sh sugar cane, divine, def not divine, define temptation. Pink. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is not from the notes. It seems like it would be a bakery scent. It's not. It's similar, think along the same lines if you've smelled cashmere and corduroy from the fall winter catalog or even sugar, if you've smelled sugar. It's that same type of vibe. It doesn't smell the same, but that same type of like cozy, um, sweet, like bedroom comfy type fragrance that's what I get from this this is really pretty this is really pretty I do kind of get a like a, a nutty quality but again it's not like bakery at all to me it's really pretty oh my gosh this is really nice if it performs well I think I'm gonna end up putting this one in my club so nice so that's love and happiness next up is cutie pie cupcake which I have melted before um sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing so we have a scent in the catalog right now called clementine cupcake and again I've tried both of these um, but let me smell this one again yeah so this one is stronger on the orange on the citrus orangey notes than it is on the cake notes. Whereas the Clementine cupcake is stronger on the cake for me rather than the citrus. It still smells like, it smells like Fruit Loops to me. I don't know why, but that's what I get. I get Fruit Loops. So it's not a favorite. I know so many people love it but I prefer Clementine Cupcake over Cutie Pie Cupcake. It just smells like Fruit Loops. And for me, I just, I don't want that as, uh, you know, a scent in my home, just my home to smell like Fruit Loops. I don't know, but I will melt it again. Um, I know this last time, a month or so ago, when I melted the last of my last bar, I did end up enjoying it more than I had previously um, when I first got it. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful I'll, I'll still enjoy it okay, but it does smell like Fruit Loops to me. Okay, next one is Simply, what is it? Simply Irresistible, there we go. Simply Irresistible is lavender with a strong woody background of amber, moss, and musk. So I've heard this is a like a cologne scent. Yeah, it's like a greeny, Um, a kind of sharp cologne. That moss kind of lends that cologne aspect to it. So if you like green type um, woodsy colognes, 
that's what this one is. Okay, next one is Bamboo Yuzu. It is a pretty green, and it is Imagine a, garden, a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. So hopefully this one isn't kind of colony to me either. Um, sage a lot of times will come across as cologne-ish to me if the thing has sage, sage in it. Oh, no, this is nice. I'm really liking that yuzu in it. So yuzu is a citrus. This is kind of exactly what it says. It feels like you're in like a Japanese garden with that bamboo. And then it's kind of brightened and sweetened with that citrus. It's along the same lines as like um, sea salt and avocado, um, aloe water and cucumber, just that really fresh type scent. So if you like any of those, you would probably like this one. So that's Bamboo Yuzu. Okay, next up is Flower Child. And this one is Sweet Red Berries Layered Over Wild Gardenia and Sandalwood. <clears throat> I'm normally not into gardenia unless it's mixed well with other things. So, oh, this is pretty. It's another one of those sweet perfume scents. I've heard that this is kind of a dupe for Viva La Juicy, which I don't ever remember smelling. I know I've never had it, but if it smells like this, it's really, really nice. This is really pretty. You do get like the red berries mixed with floral. This is really, really nice. Very perfumey, sweet. So this would be like a spring summer perfume, whereas that blonde wood and moonflower was a fall winter perfume. So that's really pretty. Okay, next up is Zeppelin. Zeppelin is um, elegantly balanced citrus and sage, soar over sandalwood and vetiver. So I think this is another cologne type fragrance. It's a gray, light gray. Yeah, this is a cologne type scent. But this one's actually pretty nice. I am getting, um, it's brighter to me than Simply Irresistible. Not overwhelmingly cologne. It's like, Oh, it, it's really nice. Oh, it's really nice. So it's more like um, your man just got out of the shower um, and had, you know, that the whiffs of the body wash still. Oh, yeah, that's actually really nice. Zeppelin, but it is a cologne body wash type fragrance. Okay, next up is Berry of Paradise. This one is Scrumptious Sugar Strawberry Bird of Paradise and with Vanilla Bean. Pink. Oh yes, yes, yes. Strawberry and like an artificial strawberry mixed with a floral. Yep, yep, that's what it is. Could be very nice. So Berry of Paradise. Then we have Blackberry Orange Marmalade. This is Orange Marmalade and Blackberry Jam over Sugar Crystals. Purple. Like I said, a lot of purple. A lot of purple bars in this Bring Back My Bar. Okay. This is similar to Black Raspberry Vanilla, except Blackberry rather than Raspberry. Black Raspberry. And then you had that added orange in it. So if you love black raspberry vanilla, you will probably really like this one. So that's black berry orange marmalade. And then the last one is love you very much. And this one is bursting red berries, dreamy white peach and tart cranberry finished with a splash of vanilla. Okay. And it is like a cranberry color. 
Okay, this is another one that feels like more fall. Probably because of the cranberry. I think the cranberry is the strongest note in this. But I am kind of getting like a peach. And it's not super tart because it does um, kind of have that vanilla that um, softens the berry, the fruit notes, tones them down a little. It's nice. It's like a mixed berry scent, but more on the late summer into fall type fragrance for me. Okay, so I'm not going to rank them all, but I'll tell you which ones I think I like the best out of all of them. So I'm going to go with this one and this one and uh, this one. Okay. This one, so okay, so I'm gonna do two, four, two, four. I'll do six. This one, okay, I'm gonna use that two, four, two, four, six. Okay, let me see. Let's see. I did really like this one though. Hmm. Okay, so I think for me, the ones that were kind of stand out to my nose on cold anyway, is Blueberry Pancakes. This one was really nice. Um, a Cotton Candy Cookie, which I have melted, and it is a really nice scent. So I don't know if I should include that one or not, but I'm including it. Um, then Flower Child, really pretty, like sweet, summery, perfume type scent. Enchanted Mist was so nice with that apple, and it was like a green or golden delicious apple mixed with those florals. I'm hoping this is a strong one because it's really pretty. Um, lemon coconut chiffon, really, really nice, toasty. Um, pound cake with lemon. Hopefully that'll perform really well. Then just because it's a fun scent and different root beer float. Then we have French toast. It smells like French toast. So if you love bakery, that one is a good one. And then if I had to pick my favorite on cold sniff, that would be Love and Happiness. This is so pretty. Again, if you were a fan of um, cashmere and corduroy or sugar, give this one a try because it is along the same lines as those. So pretty. So that it. So there you go, you guys. I apologize again for my voice. It is coming back at least, so hopefully next time I do a video, I'll be back to normal. So thanks for spending some time with me. If this was helpful to you or you enjoyed it, please like the video. I appreciate you guys and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.